Sounds good. Okay, let's move on to our, our tech corner today. Uh, what we're going to look at today is our uh, is a product from Micro Ridge. This is uh, the Mobile Collect. Mm -hmm. This is a, a, a wireless measurement system. Uh, essentially, what it does is it allows you to take any of your digital gauges and make them wireless. So rather than having your tether running off, if anybody's ever used tethered uh, data collection devices, you know the issues that you can have with that. This will take any of your digital gauges and make them wireless. And it's very simple to use. So I'm going to come over here to our gauge cam. The gauge cam. The gauge cam. And kind of show you what, what this is, uh, what Micro Ridge, uh, what their mobile collect uh, system is made up of. Uh, what, what I have here right in front of me, this is, the, um, this is simply a Mitotoyo 6-inch caliper, absolute digimatic. You see the, uh, see the display on the front, but on the back, we have got the Micro Ridge module. You'll see it's about two inches long, maybe an inch and a half wide, I don't know, three quarters of an inch thick, and it's tethered to the gauge by this little interface cable. That's all there is to it, to the remote module. This is what goes on to your digital gauge. The other half of this is the Mobile Collect USB base. This is the receiver, I guess you could call it, and simply tethered via a USB cable into my laptop. That is all there is to it, and this works uh, surprisingly simple. So we're going to go to our screen share right here. I've got a simple Excel document. And anytime I click the data collection button on my gauge, my caliper, you see the number shows up in Excel. So it doesn't, and this will actually operate up to 165 feet away from the base. So th from, the micro, uh, from the measurement device to the base can be up to 165 feet. Uh, and so you can take your data pretty much anywhere you want. Now, we're collecting this into Excel. We could collect it into any piece of software you're running. It could be your favorite SPC software, mm -hmm. it could be Excel, it could be Word, it could be an email document. Mm -hmm. And the reason for this is because what comes with the Micro Ridge gauges is, uh, is a simple little uh, piece of software called WedgeLink Express. Very basic. All this does, it's <laughs> really pretty clever, all it does is it takes the data that comes into the base anytime you, you click the measurement key and converts it into keystrokes. Mm -hmm. So as far as the computer is concerned, any type you, you, anytime you hit the measurement button, it just thinks somebody has typed in data. So it doesn't matter where the cursor is at. If the cursor happens to be an Excel uh, spreadsheet in a cell, that's where the data appears. If it happens to be in your favorite SPC software, wherever that cursor is, that's where the data mm -hmm. appears. So very simple. So let's talk about a couple of features of this before we move into the setup. Um, as I mentioned, it has a range of 165 feet. Uh, and it will, I mentioned that this will connect to any of your digital gauges. The reason for that is the secret is in, obviously, the interface cable that I'm showing here on our little camera, on our gauge cam. This cable, uh, they make cables that will connect to Mitotoyo, Silvac Opto, LMI, Sterrett, Mar, Fowler Opto, mm -hmm. Brown and Sharp Opto. I think there's an Ono Soki. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, any, any common gauge that you, digital gauge that you have on your shop floor, more than likely there is a cable that is going to connect to it. Also, you're not locked in to the cable. Uh, the cable and the box are two separate entities. So the remote module, if I wanted to change this from a Mitotoyo and connect it to, let's say, an Onosoki gauge, mm -hmm. all I would do is uh, pop off three screws, take off the back, replace the cable, put the back back on, plug it in. Three or four minutes, I've switched gauges. Good to go. So good to go. Very simple. Um, We'll get it. Uh, this also has an internal uh, internal antenna, which I'll get back to in a little bit, and it only weighs one and a half ounces. So this is actually uh, it affects the balance a little bit, but not not okay. a whole lot. It's very light. Uh, actually, almost a better balance than if you've used uh, a gauge that has a cable hanging hanging off it and you're dragging it. Yeah, so yeah. this actually works much better. And wireless is the way to go. And we'll get to the we'll, we'll get to some of the worries some of you have about wireless in just one <laughs> second. But first of all, let's go into the setup. So let me close out of a couple of. Uh, couple of documents here and let me get out to my let me get out to my desktop here and we'll load the uh, <laughs> yeah yes if I can figure out how to run my own computer we'll get out here to get the da can't get Davis out of our can't get Davis out of our mobile collect <laughs> express okay so we're into the mobile collect setup this is basically what you need to do to set up your your mobile your mobile collect wireless system it does almost everything for you. It's pretty straightforward. I open up the mobile collect. I say find the base unit. It takes a couple seconds. 
and it will suck in the data from the base unit. So everything we need to know about the base unit is now populated in here. I can change some settings on the base unit if I wanted to. I could change the transmit frequency. We'll get to that in a second. Um, you can also control the setup for the mobile module, uh, for the mobile module itself. So if I want to change how the mobile module is configured, uh, I can do that. Some of the things you might do with, with that is this is currently set up to take a single measurement anytime I click the measurement mm -hmm. key, but I could set it up for continuous measurement. Or maybe I want it to, whenever I uh, tell it to take a measure, I want it to take 20 measurements right. or 30 measurements with one tap of the key. I can do that. Or I can say, take measurements for 30 seconds. So those are, those are ways that you can configure the module. The module can also, if you have the right module, the module can also be configured to accept commands. So the way I've been running the caliper here, I've been telling it to take data by clicking the button. You could also run unattended, which if you had uh, some sort of automated fixture with some digital indicators, uh, you could send a command to the fixture saying, take a measurement right now and run it unattended. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't need somebody to click the button. Okay, so let's get to the important thing. I'll swing back around here. We get to the important thing. Uh, the big question a lot of people have, a lot of the worries they have about wireless devices is, if you have experience with wireless gauging, uh, you may have had problems in the past uh, because sometimes if you work in a very noisy RF environment, sure. you, have, you, know, you have welders or maybe you have a lot of other communications equipment running, uh, that you can have RF interference, which can cause problems with some RF-based sure. wireless gauging systems. Um, MicroRidge has really kind of taken care of that problem with their, with their, uh, um, the mo mobile, their mobile, mobile collect. collect. And here's what they do. Uh, there's a couple things. Number one, they work in the Wi-Fi range, the four point, um, sorry, 2.45 gigahertz range. Now, when we first heard that, we were a little worried because our thought was, oh my gosh, you're going to try to operate in the same frequency range as all my Wi-Fi, and I know here we've got five Wi-Fi channels running. Yep. So um, the way they get around that is, number one, their center frequency isn't a center frequency of one of the Wi-Fi channels. Same frequency range, not the same center frequencies. So they tend to be off-band. Uh, but even if there was overlap, the transmitter only comes on for milliseconds. So your Wi-Fi isn't even going to see the transmit come on. The Wi-Fi is going to blow right past it. So will the gauge. If there was any problem, they have a little utility on here called an RF channel sniffer, which simply goes out and scans uh, the frequency range that the mobile collect works in mm -hmm. and looks for what are the busy RF channels yep. and simply tells you, look, these channels are busy. Eh, why don't you check, you know, why don't you select channel 24 instead? Right. And you would simply reprogram this and you'd be good to go. Simple green, green yellow. Yep. Green, yeah, yep. very obvious. Yep. Um, very simple to set up. And then you, you would simply upload that, that channel change to the device Perfect. and you're, you're good to go. One last thing. Um, because of this little thing I told you about where it only transmits for milliseconds, this is what allows them to have a single base but hundreds of gauges because the odds are two gauges are not going to try to come up and transmit at exactly the same time. Even if they, in the rare occurrence that that might happen, um, the gauges will simply detect that and retry. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not an issue. So hundreds of gauges, a single base, if that's the configuration you want. So uh, very cool. So what we've got here, uh, relatively inexpensive uh, device. Uh, the whole system, uh, see, uh, a remote module, yep. a cable, yep. and the base. Yep. 750 bucks. Great. If you wanted four, mm -hmm. if you wanted, uh, say, one base and four, indic uh, four remotes, uh, less than $1,800. So really, you could really get outfitted for wireless uh, gauging very quickly. Very robust, uh, v works in noisy RF environments, lightweight, 165 foot range. You're good to go. It's pretty cool. Perfect kind of a, of a thing we like to, to show off here on Tech Corner. That's right. I mean, it, it, it's, it's ultimate. I mean, basically, you, you, you said it right there. It's compact. It's affordable, it's effective, yep. it's a unique technology. Great, hey, if you have a Tech Corner product or, or software, hardware that you'd like to uh, like us to demo for you here on Quality Digest Live, just email us and let us know. The email address again, qdl at qualitydigest.com. And by the way, you don't have to be you don't have to be a vendor. Typically, these get sent to us. I mean, honestly, these get sent to us sure. by, by companies that want us to highlight their product. But maybe there's a product you're interested in and you just want us, hey, can you contact such Acme such. Corporation, yeah. see if they're willing to send you something to demo. I'm sure if we contacted Acme and yeah, said, hey, they, we got some people out there that want to see your product, I'm sure they would send it to I'm us. I'm sure they would. And thank you for Mike, Michael Rich for sending that. And thank you, Derek, for, yep. for doing that demo. Great. All right. Well, next week. Oh.